Again here at 530 with an active 11 breaking news alert. Neighbors are evacuated and fire crews are fighting this fire that's burning near Beulah. That's in Pueblo County. The smoke from the Oak Ridge fire can be seen for miles and not only has it created a big uh, vertical plume at times it's been uh, blowing to the south there. So we're waiting for an update from firefighters on the size. Let's get to 11 news reporter Michelle Wells, who is not far from the area where crews are battling this officials tell you, Michelle, that this fire was caused by a lightning strike. Adam in 11. Adam in 11 news at four. The fire had burned 170 acres. It is now jumped to 213 acres and is growing. You can see the large billowing smoke cloud behind me here. Uh, rising towards the sky. Officials with the US Forest Service tell me the reason this fire has grown so rapidly is because of the hot temperatures mixed with the increased wind. Right now they are just using aerial resources to fight this fire and ensure the safety of their crews. Currently the only community forced to evacuate is Middle Creek Canyon. An evacuation center has been set up at the Pueblo County Parks and Recreation Building in the Salt Creek neighborhood. However, the, there are several communities under pre evacuation orders, including people who live on Vine Mesa, Cascade Avenue, Pine Avenue and Beulah Highlands Road. You need to be ready to evacuate if needed. It's just important to be ready at all times to, for evacuation and when wildfire happens, uh, it's important to get the things that you need, your medications, uh, paperwork, important information like that. Uh, but just being mindful that you may not have another opportunity to come back. So getting anything that's valuable to you, pictures, uh, clothes, things that you're going to need, essentials. And just to reiterate, the fire has burned 213 acres, but no structures have been burned as of now. We'll be sure to update you when we learn more about the fire. Back to you, Adam. Yeah, that's something we'll touch base with uh, fire officials here this evening and have the latest on 11 News at 10 tonight and at KKTV.com.